Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So good afternoon friends and uh, through you uh, allow us to introduce ourselves first a member of parliament for the Mezi constituency, secretary general of uh, APNAT Zambia chapter with Honorable Fuwe, Shiluwi member of parliament, APNAT member, of, uh, he's also a member in APNAC colleagues this uh, press briefing that we're having is not going to be long uh, we want to communicate with our friends at anti-corruption commission through you and uh, we hope that from here you can equally go and help us uh, get a statement from the anti-corruption commission remember We've been consistent with the way the hunting concessions were handled. The SEC has never issued a statement. We are worried with a trend that the SEC is setting. Right now, we have received information, solid information, that the current Minister of Finance, Honorable Musokotwane, together with uh, the current Minister of Infrastructure and Housing Development, Honorable Mulupi, have been appearing at the Anti-Corruption Commission secretly. Initially, when the call-outs were sent to the two senior cabinet ministers, they avoided going to the ACC so that they could be questioned. And our sources are telling us that are being investigated for having received two hundred and fifty thousand dollars each from a named firm. That money was through a bank transfer and we know that uh, State House is aware of this investigation but we do not know why ACC is not updating the nation on where they are with the investigations. Fellow citizens and colleagues, we've also received very disturbing news that um, engineer Kutawala is involved in having transferred some amounts of money two days before his appointment as board chair through a bank transfer again to Honorable Charles Wiruki. And the SEC are following up on this matter. He's also been appearing at the SEC, but they don't want it to be known to the public. We feel that the fight against corruption should not be done in secrecy. We as APNAC members and members of parliament are supposed to in fact work hand in hand with the SEC. So we challenge the SEC to tell us why a matter that I've been handling for more than two weeks is not being availed to the public. Information is being guarded secretly. We don't know, maybe it's the reason that the board chair of the SEC today, in today's news diggers tabloid said, in the next few weeks, you'll be seeing the current corruption fight. But we demand that the SEC should come out clear on Honorable Charles Migupi and Honorable Stumbekom Sokotwani. If the SEC does not tell us where this money came from, we shall name the contractor who transferred that $250,000 to each one's account. We shall name the contractor. We have the information. But we are giving them a benefit of doubt to tell the Zambian people how far they have gone with the investigations. Fellow citizens, 
macro oceans that the government created uh, uh, has given the toes to run on the Lusaka dollar dual carriageway is a special purpose vehicle that is not bringing a cent to the Zambian government. 90% of that road is being financed by the Zambian people. So what is this SPV, Macro Oceans, saving? Whose interest is it saving? A normal PPP project would have demanded that. Money from NAPSA, workers' compensation, goes to National Road Fund, and National Road Fund collects the two fees. That was going to be the normal approach. This Macro Oceans, what is it that they're bringing on the table? Who are they? Are they the ones that transferred the money? SEC should come out clear on this matter. If they don't, we shall go further to mention who released the three million kwacha over a certain new road that was done. That road is less than one kilometer. It's leading somewhere. And we know, again, engineer Muchan Kutawala has a role to play. So we are asking the ACC to address the Zambian people on this matter without any delays. Information is filtering through, and the ACC should know that they are dealing with a well-informed citizenry. You cannot afford to hide information for more than two weeks. Thank you. Honorable Fred, do you want to say yes. um, Building on uh, what uh, Honorable Mia Zura said, corruption, as you may know, is petty. Corruption is also institutional. Corruption is also grand corruption. And uh, given those uh, definitions of, of corruption, the SEC is aware that uh, corruption, th their creation is to fight corruption to protect public resources. If by any chance such transfers happened, it means that uh, the people would have received the money, have received the money to perform a particular duty. And this particular duty is more of self-centered, it's egocentric. It's meant to uh, benefit those particular individuals who have received the money. If that be the case, it means that uh, we are already talking about both grand corruption and institutional corruption, not really petty corruption. Because even the amounts involved, going by our economy, $250,000 uh, $250, in our economy currently is not small money. I think you can do your maths. you find that uh, that is quite big money. Apart from that, what favors? The, the, because money cannot just be received like that. They are not relatives. They are not their friends and the like. Or what deal did they do for them to receive their money? When we receive money through accounts, it's either you have done a business transaction or you have done something. And if indeed there are some investigations that are going on and they are done in the secrecy. What, one thing and one value that helps the anti-corruption to fight corruption is the third force, the people. Public pressure also is very important in this case. And the, that is part of the transparency. Because when you are investigating a public officer of the standing that uh, Comrade Muni has talked about, it's not a simple issue. You are talking about a minister of, of, of finance, you are talking about a minister of, of, of infrastructure. If you pick your cabinet chart, you know that those are very high-ranking ministries, uh, ministers. So if they are very high-ranking ministers, it also means that their proximity to the president cannot be doubted because they control the resources of the nation. They also control big, uh, you know, um, uh, projects for the nation. The other one finances, the other one identifies what should be done. So, if this kind of scenario is really happening, it is indeed within the spirit and the hope of our opponent, especially that naturally, as he, my brother did state, that anti-corruption is supposed to be our brother in the fight against corruption. And as we provide the reasonable voice, 
within the parameters of Article 60, 61 and 62, which give, empowers us to do an oversight role on the executive. We are just doing that. And we know that APNAC may not be mainly in slide, it's a parliamentary caucus, but it's a caucus that is meant to also blow the whistle. So literally what we are doing is blowing the whistle. But we are blowing the whistle in the direction where we have to say that anti-corruption should wake up, anti-corruption should give uh, a, a statement, so we are giving anti-corruption as a public institution meant to fight corruption. Uh, 40, within, within 24 hours, in which they can issue a statement on the aforesaid uh, you know, uh, transactions that have been done. And this should include Mr. Kutawala, this should also include anyone who is involved and who has been mentioned. Because we don't want, everyone is pre presumed innocent until they are proved guilty, according to our, our, our what I think that also tallies with Article, uh, Article 18 in the Bill of Rights. So when we are looking at these factors, we want transparency, we want accountability, and what's still, what we are looking at is a, is, is, is a, is a commitment from public servants like ours, uh, and public servants like those mentioned the ministers, who are holding very sensitive positions in government. We are not asking for too much. I think what we are asking for, this particular message is directed to anti-corruption commission to pull up the socks, to honor, and they should issue a statement within 24 hours so that uh, we are not trying to coax them in any manner or coerce them in any manner. I think as citizens, and the members of the parliament and the legislators, we have the right to demand that uh, they have to the game. They face the, the, the same measures they use expose for those that are actually operate for now the overbeaten process of crime. Let them use the same measure. In any case, this now involves direct transaction of cash. So if it involves direct transaction of money, we don't need to, to look and wait for the house to be built. That's when we are going to pounce on that house. This one possibly. Uh, I don't want to talk about different kinds of evidence. Uh, uh, Comrade Mulini is like to blow the whistle uh, that have gone legalistic. But what it is, is that uh, we need, we demand for transparency from the anti-corruption itself. Because it's a wing that we trust, it's a wing that we expect that uh, it is going to uh, uh, expose abuse of public office. And we smell power, abuse of public office in this particular case. So the boy is in their hands. We will wait up until 20, 24 hours. You can count, I know, Piri and other people you can count from this hour. This should be around 17 past 17 hours. So we will count another 24 hours. If they, we don't have a statement, we'll come back to the media. And I think we uh, uh, do our own cause of action as citizens and registrators. The special as happening. Uh, just in conclusion, you see, this regime promised the Zambian people that anyone suspected of being involved in corruption will not be allowed to be in office. We want them to practice that which they preached before they formed government. The onus is on the Anti-Corruption Commission to tell the Zambian people the truth. They cannot afford to conceal this information for this long. We know the source of that money. Should SEC not tell us, we shall name the contractor. For now, help us to deliver this message to the SEC. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.